was um, 10 years old, and my neighbor, Kent Cleeter, um, had a drum set. I wanted to play guitar, because I wanted to be up front. And then he sat me down on the drums. For most people, they go, You know, I sat down and went. For some reason, it was just there. And he, and he was like, you're a drummer. And I was like, oh, I'm a drummer. I have a purpose. This is my man cave, as they call it now. I call it a band cave or whatever. It's kind of my studio. The stuff that I have, the memorabilia that I've collected over the years from record stores or eBay or whatever, it's almost like comfort food. You know, to be surrounded by all these sort of memories almost, you know, that David Bowie and, you know, Sound and Vision, that's where I really discovered Bowie. So, I mean, that sits behind me when I'm in here jamming. It's almost, it's like being surrounded by old friends. I think there's two kinds of collecting. There's that, just, just the stuff that you love and you're passionate about and you like to see and it makes you feel warm when you're surrounded by it. And then there's the, I'm gonna, you know, get Eric Clapton's original lyrics written from Layla. And that's an investment. I have uh, Roger Taylor's snare drum and the drummer from Queen that he gave me that he used in the Freddie Mercury AIDS awareness concert that they had after he died. And I use it. We've used it on recordings. It's down at the Foo Fighters studio. So we, we use it. A friend of mine gave me this for Christmas a couple years ago. As you see, this is the band Monta Hoople on Broadway. And if you look very small, it says, with special guests, Queen. Oh my god, there's a ticket inside there. I never even noticed that. From that night, oh my god. I played at CBGB's in 1995 actually a really good sounding room to play in. It's grubby, it's grimy, it's gross. Everything you want in a little small hole in the wall rock club. It's obviously had this history, the Ramones and Talking Heads and Blondie and Police did their first American gig there. There was a reason that people went there. Political strife usually makes for some pretty good inspired rock music. Obviously, yeah, what was going on in England at the time with the labor strikes, trash piled up everywhere. Margaret Thatcher was in the office, they all hated her. Like right now, with the country sort of being super torn, hopefully we'll get some good music out of it at least. <laughs> See why I wanted to be the guitar player? I don't remember the show. You know, we were doing a lot of festivals back then and we still do. It's, it's strange to me. I'll never see myself in the same realm as Stuart Copeland or David Bowie or any of those people. And, and I don't think you ever should. It's an honor that people find that stuff to be treasures of some sort. I'm proud to be part of something like that.